Hello YouTube. I made it back from the hike. I'm well. But I will say that uh, coming up the upgrade of that hike and what ha uh, my heart was going boom, boom, boom. Oh yeah. Sixty-three year old heart um, got a good workout. And um, one thing about the upgrade on that trail is that when we get a good rainfall, the rain flows down that trail and it washes out all the uh, soil and what's left are rocks, uh, if you can imagine that. So it, it's a matter of climbing up rocks and it was dark, as you could see in part three or four of that yeah part four of that video when I came out back up to the street you probably heard me breathing heavy anyway be that as it may I'm smoking the same pipe the Savinelli Arone bent billiard rusticated and in it tonight I am smoking some Black House. Very good blend. It's just becoming one of my favorites. <clears throat> one of the uh, Hearth and Home Marquee Series by Russ Ouellette, Master Tobacco Blender at PipesAndCigars.com. Really good. Remi Once again, it reminds me of a, a Balkan blend. Lots of lot of Kia, and I am also having a dry martini. Mm. It's so good. And I've been instructed by my company that I am to work at home, which is something that I embrace. Don't have to get up when I don't want to. As long as I am available during core hours, I can set my own work schedule. I'm not in the corporate fish fish bowl. Yeah, Need another light here. Hit the table with my leg. Okay. At any rate, I hope you're all staying well, that you're staying safe, that you're staying enclosed in your homes as we contemplate this new normal. which actually doesn't bother me a bit. Um, I love my home. I love my family. I got plenty to do on my property. If I don't have to go out, I don't, um, I don't want to go out if I don't have to. <sighs> the only thing I did today was I got into my car. I wrote a check for my <clears throat> real estate taxes and my property taxes and I went to the town hall and dropped him in the slot. I didn't even touch anything. All right. Amazingly enough, I'm not getting a lot of complaints from the peanut gallery upstairs about smoking down here. Seems there's worse things in this world at this point. Mm -hmm. Worse things than the tobacco smoke. At any rate,
Starting tomorrow, I'm going to start my uh, book reading series. And what it's going to involve is one chapter out of a classic novel by Ayn Rand. And the book is Atlas Shrugged. And the particular chapter that I'm going to read has to do with a theme that I am going to expound on with uh, at least two other um, vignettes, you might call them, <clears throat> or editorial comments on the subject. So stay tuned, <clears throat> and please tune in. I'll do my best to, uh, since I'm taking one chapter out of the book out of context, <clears throat> I'll try to uh, illustrate the different characters in the story and make it into somewhat of a short story for you. So that's that. A um, couple of shout outs. Thank you to Onion on the patio at 2 a.m. for subscribing to my channel. I've been following him for a long time and he's a genuine character, uh, master barbecuer. And he even complimented my my bar my burnt uh, brisket. Very gracious of him. Thank you, Onion. And uh, the next one I promise will be better. Um, and uh, once again, Double A Pipe Man, you are the bomb. You know I've watched you since from the beginning. Uh, with your ahs and ums, and uh, you've developed into a real content creator. And uh, I really like your content. I uh, relish all of your videos. And uh, what else can I say? That's about it. Please tune in tomorrow for the... Um, the, uh, what should I call it? I'll think of a name. <laughs> At any rate, oh my goodness. Folks, this is a crazy time for us. And, um, I'll say, I got an email today, um, from, uh, corporate headquarters and we have a uh, veterans uh, affinity group I guess and they say how folks like us folks like us veterans who served in the military seem to fare much better during times like this and um, the only thing I can relate it to is uh, being on a ship and uh, being out at sea and crossing either the Atlantic or going from port to port in the Mediterranean and you're out at sea for long periods of time similar to what we're experiencing now being holed up in somewhat of a cabin fever and what and the email said what advice can you give to these folks well, what did we do when we um, crossed the Mediterranean? Well, we watched a lot of movies. Personally, I read a lot. I'm, I've always been a, uh, an avid reader, even before I joined the Navy. Um, I picked that up, I think, in junior high school. And uh, I read a lot, played a lot of cards, bickered with a lot of my shipmates 
couple of fist fights here and there. Whatever floats your boat, um, enjoy. You'll remember this time. Uh, even though you think that this is a, a pain in the ass, um, you'll remember this time. Especially you younger folk. It's special. It's tribulation. And it'll be some of the best memories of your life. And with that, I will sign off for this evening. Tune in tomorrow for Alice Shrugged by Ayn Rand. God bless, folks.